Hey, Mom and Dad, I'm writing a paper on heroes for the school contest. The winner gets printed in the newspaper. Good. So who are you going to write about? Uh, Martin Luther King, uh, Rosa Parks? No, I have a list, but I can't decide. Oh, let me see. All right. Spider-Man, Superman, X-Man, Peter Pelagi. Who's that? The ice cream man. Good. <laughs> Robert Jerry, you won't believe what I just saw. What's that? You know that new fruit stand on the corner? Huh? It just got robbed. Huh. Did anybody get hurt? Some old lady I ran over trying to get out the way. <laughs> but the guy had a gun. Did you get a description? He was short, loud, skinny, and black. <laughs> the guy? The gun, Rob. <laughs> and if I ever seen that guy again, I'll know his face. Mm. Ooh, I was like running. I was like, what? I get that one, you know? Uh -huh. It's like bull shooting, the fruit was flying everywhere. Sergeant Rutledge, NYPD. Looking for a Wendell Wilcox. He's a possible witness to a robbery. Well, he ain't here. <laughs> no, no. Word on the street is he's always here. You see, Robert, I'm not the only one who says that. And the store owner said he looks something like this. So you were at the fruit stand. What'd you see? The melons weren't ripe and the avocados were too soft. <laughs> You're dummying up, huh? No, I've been dumb a long time. <laughs> okay, fine. But in case you get an attack or do the right thing, here's my card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night, Sergeant Rutledge. I'm sorry. Wendell, you saw the whole thing? Why didn't you tell the officer? Nicholas, I did what any respectable New Yorker would do. Look the other way. Nicholas, why don't you go upstairs and uh, start working on your paper about heroes? Wendell, I'm surprised at you. What kind of an example are you setting for Nicholas? The best kind, staying alive. You hear me breathing? <laughs> Do you want Nicholas to think that his uncle Wendell is a coward? He won't think that if you don't tell him. <laughs> Wendell, you know, Nicholas thinks the world of you. <sighs> All right, I go down there. Danny, what's up, man? Cece, Daniel's here. Be done in a minute! Women, always making us wait. Why? Because they know we will. <laughs> hey, Michael, what kind of stuff does your sister like? Uh, let me see. She likes uh, animal crackers. She likes those uh, strawberry patch kids. Oh, but her favorite are Skittles. Zarya likes Skittles? Well, sure, Zarya. <laughs> <laughs> Zarya? What? Uh... Come on, Dan. Now let's go play Candyland. Can Zarya play? Oh, no. I'm no match for Cece. Well, I don't think everybody would agree with that opinion. <laughs> no, no. You don't remember what happened to Kato? <laughs> you can't change your mind now. Oh, Cox, I knew you'd be here today. How'd she know that? Peterson called. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. I'd be out getting rid of the trash, the dirt, the scum. Fighting crime in the city. No. Cleaning out my refrigerator. It's my day off. <laughs> Look, Sarge, I know the guy who did the robbery. All right. That's more like it. Would you be willing to pick him out of a lineup? Well, I'll pick him out, take him apart, and put him right back together again. <laughs> and that's how I like to hear a citizen talk. Well, that's the kind of brother I am. Yeah. <laughs> hey, why the change of heart? Well, he wants to set a good example for my son. Huh. 
And uh, check this out. I got it. <laughs> One of my friends got a whole bunch of these parking tickets. <laughs> I told him not to park crazy or nothing like that, but I thought maybe you can get on the bus type thing. <laughs> the bus stops here. <laughs> you can't hook a brother up, man? Yep. To a tow truck. <laughs> How's your report on heroes going? Great! I narrowed it down to two choices. Harriet Tubman or my teacher. Your teacher's your hero? She will be if she gives me an A. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Cece. I didn't even see you sitting there. What's wrong? Your face is about as long as a bad date. <laughs> I think Daniel likes somebody else. Now, what makes you say that? Today, he didn't give me any Skittles. Well, you know, Cece, if you really like Daniel, you should just have a word with him. Oh, I've got a lot of words for him. <laughs> Somebody left this at the front door for you. Uh, too sorry. Skittles? <laughs> Mike, is this some kind of joke? No joke. It's Daniel. He's got a little thing for you. Wait, Daniel? I mean, Cece's Daniel? Mm-hmm. I'm the other woman. This is terrible. Hey, look at it on the bright side. At least now you got a guy who will look up to you. <laughs> Rob, Jerry, have you guys read y'all newspaper yet? You know we always read it after you do. <laughs> Suspect captured in fruit stand robbery. Oh, that's good. Keep reading. The suspect is the nephew of reputed mob boss, Nicky the Trunk. That's bad. <laughs> Nicky the Trunk? Yeah, that's where they find people he doesn't like, in the trunk. Oh, that guy. You know, I heard some guy cut him off in traffic, and he cut off that That's guy. the guy. Window, relax. I, I think you're overreacting. It's not like you're going to come face to face with the Godfather. I mean, I don't mind why I'm in the trunk. Just move that other body, man. <laughs> Hello, Don. I just stopped by to tell you that I didn't see nothing. Come to me on the day of my daughter's barbecue. You don't even think to call me Godfather. I meant no disrespect. Tell me what you saw. I saw Godfather 1. I saw Godfather 2. Godfather 3 was a little slow. Yeah. No. Tell me what you saw at the fruit stand. Apples, pears, a cluster of peaches. That's right up. I ain't see nothing. I ain't see nothing. Is this you? No, that's Uncle Fester, man. Sonny. Okay. okay. It is not a good thing to lie to your godfather. Okay, godfather, look. I saw everything, but I ain't gonna tell nobody. I don't even want to tell nobody. So your secret's good with me. All right, let's go, guys. Good, good. You have done the right thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wendell, are you hungry? Yeah, that's why I was telling Polly, Polly and uh, Polly on the way up here out in the truck. I said the Godfather's cooking some ribs tonight. Did I say that, Polly? Did I say that? <laughs> why don't you go get something to eat, guys? Take them to the East River to get a fish sandwich. Yeah, get a fish sandwich. Oh no! Not, no! I'm allergic to it, man. Please believe me. I'm a vegetarian. I've been meaning to go to Jenny Crack for years. Wendell, I, I think you're overreacting. I mean, look at the bright side. You're being a good citizen. Rob, the East River is full of good citizens. Wendell, just relax. Why don't you just go home and get some rest? Yeah. No one would ever think to look for you at your house. Oh, yes, they would. But I won't be there. Where are you going? Nowhere. From this day on, I'm staying right here. <laughs> the rest is stuff in a car. Oh, look at the 
this place. He's done it. He's actually moved in. We should have never let him in through that new front door. New, new front, front door? door. <laughs> Look at these locks. Mom, Dad, Wendell's been in the bathtub for three hours. He's still in there? He's used up every towel we have. I mean, it's like living with 15 Nicholases. Sorry, it'd be nice. He's a guest. Oh, Dad, I think he's wearing your brand new robe. My birthday robe? I haven't even worn that robe yet. My blue robe? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're gonna need another lock on that bathroom door. Yeah, to keep you out of it. Oh, yeah. New bat, new bat. <laughs> Rob, I like your robe, man. It really, you know, clings to my skin. Makes me look skinny. <laughs> Wendell, I think we need to discuss a few ground rules here. Yeah. Rule number one, nobody wears my robe. <laughs> Rule number two, you gotta go. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You two put my life in danger. Get out! <laughs> Michael! In? And I don't supposed to believe that! Lindo, it's Michael. Let him in. Let him in. Hey, how you doing, Michael? Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> What's with the new door? Security measures, Michael. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I hope it works, because the attack dog you put outside didn't even scare the mailman. Hey, come here, boy, come here. <laughs> oh, Dad, this uh, package came for you. Get out of here! Get out of here! Wendell, those were my Mahalia Jackson gospel CDs. I waited six weeks for those. <sighs> Kinda make you want to shout, don't it? <laughs> I spoke to Daniel. It's you. You stole my boyfriend. <laughs> Cece, come on. I I'm 16 years old. I know, and you think you're all that just because you wear a bra. <laughs> Cece, I would never do anything like that. I'm your sister. Oh, you're not my sister, sister. <laughs> This late, Nick? I had a nightmare. Some bad guys was running down the street with guns. Nobody's chasing you, Nick. I know. They were chasing you. <laughs> Are you scared, Wendell? Me scared? No, I ain't scared, man. I'm Wendell. You know, it's okay to be scared. Some of the bravest people get scared. Like who? Harriet Tubman. I'm writing about her for the essay contest. She risked her life by running the Underground Railroad. I know she was scared, but she still did what she had to do. You're right. Let's go to bed, man. In the morning, I'm going to have to do what I got to do. All right, Pop. Good night, Wendell. Good night. Why don't we just leave those lights on in case Cece wants some milk? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to 
Daniel, and I'm gonna go find Cece. Cool. Well, okay, Michael, go find Cece. Slow your roll, brother. Have a seat. Oh, good, Cece. There you are. Look, I really need to talk to you. Cece, well, your sister's talking to you. Do I have to talk to the other woman? <laughs> other woman? What's going on between you two? Mom, Cece's little friend Daniel thinks he has a thing for me. Well, why would he think that? Because she's a fast mama. <laughs> I am not. Did he give you Skittles? Yes. Did you take them? Yes. Fast mama. <laughs> Cece, your sister is not a fast mama, and I want you two to patch this thing up. Thanks, Mom. I'll take care of this. Mm -hmm. Look, Cece, I'm your sister. And I'm not gonna let any guy come between us. Especially a guy who still has to take an afternoon nap. <laughs> Daniel, you do not want Zarya for your girlfriend. Why not? Because she's too old. Think about it. When you're 19, Zarya's gonna be 30. That's older than my mom. And Zarya's a real woman. Someday you're gonna have to kiss her. I don't wanna kiss an old lady. And my advice to you is to stick with the women that are under eight. You know, single-digit crowd, Cece. Yeah, I like Cece. Besides, all Daniel ever does is talk about you. He does? What does he say? Well, you know, I'm Cece this, Cece that, Cece, Cece, Cece. Yada, yada, yada. Michael! Dead man walking. <laughs> Daniel, don't you want to say something to Cece? Cece, I'm sorry. Okay. Do you want a bag of Skittles? You aren't getting off that easy. <laughs> Two bags of Skittles? That's better. Now let's go play Candyland. <laughs> Sergeant Rutledge, we're back. Peterson. Wilcox, you came back. Yeah, I came down to identify the guy I saw running from the store with the gun. Oh, really? Man, I lost that bet. <laughs> so maybe we should go into the lineup room, Sergeant. Actually, we had a pipe burst in there, and we're gonna have to do the lineup out here. But don't worry, we'll protect you. Bring him in, Mike. <laughs> now, uh, take your time and be sure, Wilcox. Do you see him? Nope. You don't recognize the perpetrator here, Wilcox? No. No, but that cop looks a lot like Cher. <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> Wilcox, you have redefined the word coward three times in my presence. You sicken me. Get him out of here, baby. I thought you said you were going to do the right thing. You sicken him. <laughs> Rob, I can't do the right thing if they don't have the right guy. Now, the guy I saw was this short, fat, roly-poly, bald-headed guy. This, that's him! Call the police! Call the police! Call the police! Call the police! <laughs> that's the guy I saw running from the store with the gun, Rob. That's him! That's Mr. Martinelli, the store owner. Big dope. <laughs> Why do y'all say it like that? <laughs> well, Lindo, Nikki the Trunk's nephew confessed to everything. Yeah, I guess they didn't need you after all. But you still got your name in the newspaper. Oh, yeah, what they write about some chump who fingered the victim instead of the suspect? Yeah, they did. <laughs> It's right next to Nicholas's uh, essay. Yeah, I won the contest. Mm -hmm. That's good, man. Who'd you write about, Harry Tugman? No. Read it, Mom. My hero is not from the history books. He's my friend, Wendell Wilcox. Wendell risked his life so a dangerous bad guy could get caught. He may have had the wrong guy, and he may spend a lot of time in the bathtub. <laughs> but he did the right thing, because that's the kind of guy he is. Very, very brave. Thanks for your time, Nick. Your time, Papi. This is good. Look at that. I'll get it. Sergeant Rutledge. Okay. Peterson. Wilcox. What now, man? I got a citation for you. 
Hey, man, I paid those parking tickets, man. I know. This is a citation for bravery from the city of New York to Wendell Wilcox. See, Wendell, you are a hero. Thanks, Redlich. Don't thank me. We didn't even think about it until we read the kid's article. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm gonna hang both of these on my refrigerator at home. <laughs> so does this mean you're not going to be sleeping over anymore? What? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Positively. <laughs> I'm not going nowhere without my dog. Oh, come on, we gotta go. It's not a good thing. He milks the scenes. <laughs> on and on and on. Just when I thought I was out, he pulled me back in. Just when we thought we could go home, he pulled us back in. <laughs> 